I'm just gonna move you so hopefully you can't see my laundry. <laughs> it's been so hot and I've had a busy week and it's finally Friday. Hi you guys, welcome to today's vlog. It is late in the day, it's four o'clock, but I am now off for the weekend. It's been freaking hot here, which is just crazy. I know it gets hotter in other places, but in Canada, it's like minus 40 in the winter, and then it's like plus 35 in the summer, and it's just a lot to bounce between. <laughs> so the hot kind of, I feel like it just kills Canadians on this like weird level. Cody just called me, sorry. <laughs> He's just getting off of work now, because um, he's off earlier today, so that is so nice. I need a cup holder, a coaster for my drink. Okay, so now that I'm off work, I'm just chilling and I'm going to open Sims and I'm going to play Sims for a little bit because I have a couple minutes to myself and I, if you don't know, I play a lot of Sims. Um, not a lot. I play Sims when I have time to play Sims. Anyway, that's not what I came here to talk to you guys about. I wanted to vlog anyway today because I want to start getting, you guys know I've been saying this, I want to start getting vlogs to you up more frequently so that I can keep you in the loop of all these little details that are going to start spilling out and I'm going to lose track of about, you know, the vasectomy reversal and everything. If you have not watched my update video, I highly suggest that you go watch that right now. Um, if you're like, where are your kids? They are here. They were playing outside with friends all day. And so now they're like having some chill inside cold time. Um, so now I just, that's why I have a second to turn this on. My daytime kiddo went home and now it's the freaking weekend. And I'm so excited because I'm just so looking forward to sleeping in slightly later tomorrow. I really, really hate waking up when I'm like forced to in the morning. I don't know, maybe that's weird, but I don't like to be told when I have to wake up. I hate it, so I'm just excited to sleep in a little bit. So tonight is family movie night. I think we're going to do a fire pit and do hot dogs because it's too hot to cook in the house. And then when it gets cold, no, I'll probably make bread in the morning. Um, I've been making sourdough, but it takes two days, so it, I'll probably make bread in the morning. You guys don't care about that one. Why did I even say that? And then it's family movie night tonight. So we're going to watch one of the newer-ish movies that have come in, coming out, that have came out. Um, the heat makes me not be able to speak, apparently. It's going to be a lovely, chilled kind of day. Nice, cozy little day. Um, something exciting happened that's a little bit of an update, I guess. Or just, I want to share with you guys. Um, I emailed my midwife today and I chatted with her and that is crazy to say like so nuts so I like let her know um, that you know we were gonna be trying soon and kind of midwives here where I live in Alberta Canada in Canada in general midwives are really hard to come by so this is my midwife from Grayson I fought tooth and nail to get into a midwife and I got in and once you're in it's much easier to stay in so I just wanted to reach out early to let her know like hey I know you guys get booked up really fast I just want to touch base to make sure that I can hopefully get in with you again and she was so sweet I'm so excited to see her again and she was like yeah but absolutely you have a spot waiting for you when you're ready like 100% and it just makes me feel so good. And I don't wanna cry, but it makes me emotional every single time. Um, because all these pieces are finally clicking in a place and it's like serious. Like I talked to my midwife today, so it's like that soon. And I've just waited so long for this and now it's finally like, we're making all these phone calls and it's like all these things have to be taken care of and now we're getting ready for like Cody to go to the States and it's all of these things that it's like it's happening. It's actually happening and it's just making me so happy that it's making me cry. Like <laughs> it's crazy. Um, but I'm so excited and that's a fun little update. So I'm going to be um, with my midwife again, which I'm so excited for. I get to have another baby with her. And the plan is to birth in the birth center again. But again, that's we don't need to get ahead of ourselves and chat about 
birth plans yet. <laughs> Although, of course, of course I have a birth plan already, kind of. Um, as in, I know where I want to give birth and I will go there and do it because it happens so fast for me, usually, that I'm like, oh, we'll, we'll see. There's no planning when it's quick, you know? And I am fully anticipating to be, like, having a very quick labor again, so I'm a little bit scared about that, if I'm being perfectly honest. But the excitement in the the end game is way more than any fear. <laughs> um, so anyway, I wanted to bring you guys along tonight. We're supposed to finally get rain. So yesterday was like 35 degrees and it's only like 30, 31. But our whole main part of the house is self facing. So like it's just a steam box. Um, my garden is doing fantastic. And I would love to show you guys what all has come up when I go out to water later tonight. So uh, maybe a little tiny mini garden update for the week. Maybe at once a week I'll just kind of take you through and let you see what's happening in the garden. And yeah, for now I think that's it. I just wanted to sit down and kind of have a little chat with you because I don't think I'm going to um, have time to chat later. So uh, I have an opportunity. I thought I would take it. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog and we'll see you in a minute. I'm going to go play some Sims like a good old nerd. I'm like a hardcore Sims player, you guys. Like, you know all those people who do YouTube channels to play Sims? I could do that. Okay, we'll see you in a minute. update so we just had a crazy heat streak heat week and so all the onions are popping up we've got carrots coming up most of the garlics have come up the strawberries are thriving and happy tomatoes are doing pretty well that little baby that we talked about let me zoom in on him that I didn't think we was gonna live there he is not dead right there he's alive and he's doing well we've got some peas coming up and you know how I planted extra zucchini extra cucumbers just in case um, they didn't germinate <laughs> all of them germinated so I will be thinning these um, and I think actually I'm gonna just give them away to a couple of people I'm just gonna let them get a tiny bit bigger about the size of this guy right here and then I'm gonna get like these guys both came up and then those both came up and this guy's coming up and I don't know if anybody's gonna join him see the lettuce you, see the surface. you can that's where they like knocked them off and then over there we have a little pile of cucumber because um, I planted two but then the old two that didn't want to come up before they decided to germinate so got spinach doing well Look at this kale. Look at that one. Everything, everything has come up, so that's good. I know, that little weed baby is like doing well. And this pepper that I thought would die, he's still hanging in there. So when we have some peppery friends in the bottom, they haven't come up yet. It's, it takes a little while longer for the peppers to come up here, so. He's still hanging in. I know. Do you hear the rain? <sighs> Finally, it's cool and rainy. A little bit of thunder. 
after such a hot week, this is such a relief. My garden is so grateful. The plants, the grass, so grateful. Um, today is a very lazy day and I didn't finish filming last night. We actually opted as a family to move family movie night to tonight since it's rainy and cozy anyway. Yesterday was still pretty hot and none of us could really fathom the idea of cuddling in a big heap on the couch in such hot weather. So we had a little weenie roast and we opted to go out for ice cream instead and just kind of hang out after and play games. So that's what we did and it was lovely. Um, today, Cody's at work, so Saturdays are a bit of a funny day. I'm off on Saturdays. Cody works every Saturday and it's just very relaxed, get things done, set up for the week ahead. Sometimes we'll have play dates and we'll meet with friends. Sometimes I'll prep for the week for food. Oftentimes it's a pretty good catch up for me for chores. Uh, my two biggest chore days of the week are probably Saturdays and Monday. And right now I'm gonna sit down with a nice warm cup of tea and finish the laundry or do the laundry that I have been putting off all week because it's just been too hot to sit up in our bedroom during the day. Um, and obviously I can't when I have another little child to watch at the house. So I'm about to turn on a show. I've been re-watching Lie to Me and it's on Disney Plus. Have you seen that? I just feel like I have a couple shows to watch, but I haven't really, I'm not really in the mood to start any of them. Cody and I watch a couple shows together and then I watch things on my own, but the shows I have on my list, just I'm just not in the mood for them right now. So sometimes I'll reach for older series that I can just throw on while I'm doing things and that I don't really care too much about, but that still hold my interest when I want it to, like when I'm doing laundry. Or sometimes I'll watch old movies. Right now I'm watching the series, I'm re-watching Lie to Me, and I love shows like that. I really like, what, what would you call them? Maybe mystery dramas? Um, like CSI, and I loved The Coroner. If you've not watched that, I highly recommend it. It's a Canadian show, but it's wonderful. Um, but, of course, it's wonderful. Canada rocks. Um, no, it's a really cool Canadian show. I really like it. You can watch that one online. It's on Netflix, too, in Canada, at least. Lie to Me is awesome. I loved Numbers. Do you remember that show? House. I'm not, like, a Grey's Anatomy person, but, like, I loved House. And I don't know, I just like when it's a little more interesting. It's not just the same boring, like doctor show shows are terrible for like redoing the same things, which is what I appreciated about House was it was just like a little different. But anyway, I don't know why I'm talking to you guys and going off a tangent about shows. If you have a show you really, you really loved or you are really loving, definitely let me know in the comments below. Um, maybe you have a suggestion for me that I haven't seen. I do end up going through a lot of shows because I watch shows when I do laundry and like that's how I keep, I shouldn't say that, but that's how I keep on top of my laundry. Usually I do keep on top of it. I'll just do sit down once a week, you know, for an hour and fold a big pile of laundry or whatever. Usually I'm more on top of it, but I just watch my shows. That's how I get through it. it depending on the activity that I'm, I'm doing, if I'm doing dishes, crocheting, you know, things like that. And when I'm gaming, I watch shows too. So I actually end up going through quite a few shows. My favorite show of all time is Outlander. Where are my Outlander people at? Um, so I really do I freaking love a historical drama. Love it. But I'm all over the map. Like, I've watched, you know, Sabrina was fun. Riverdale, I kind of fell out of love with it, and I just haven't been interested to pick it back up. Peaky Blinders is on my list, and I started the first episode but didn't finish it because I was kind of busy, and I'm just not in the mood for that serious of a series right now. I have to finish catching up on Call the Midwife because it's one of my favorite shows ever as well. Um, there's just so many good, wonderful shows. I watched The Crown. Uh, not a big fan of Downton Abbey, sorry. Um, but I loved The Crown. You know, it's like the two kind of same world-ish kind of. I don't know. I've watched a lot of show series. So if you have something for me, like I'm so, and I also like, I, I just like all over the map. I enjoy kind of the more teeny bopper stuff for when I just want something light and fun, but interesting when I'm cleaning and stuff so like I am so excited for the second season of Outer Banks to come out that was so wonderful I loved it awesome time super fun 
Um, so if you have a shell recommendation, share it below. But also, if you wanted to share with me like your top few favorite shows on the streaming services, whichever they be, let me know. Um, in Canada, we have Netflix and Disney+. Plus. We don't have Hulu or anything like that, but sometimes we can find other places to watch shows online. So it depends. Um, but anyway, I'm going to drink my tea, listen to the rain, watch some Lie to Me, and fold some laundry. So... And then I figured I would talk with you the rest of the night. I'm not talking. I'll take you along the rest of our night tonight. Uh, and we'll make it a cozy little summer rain vlog. Good thing I did the garden tour yesterday because we're not going out there today. Also means I don't have to water, which is really nice. Okay, I was going to do a little time lapse of laundry, but then I realized you all don't need to see our underwear. So I'm not going to do that. I'll see you in a minute when I'm done laundry. A minute for you. Probably about an hour for me. <laughs> And yet again, I forget I'm vlogging. I just had a bath. Cody got home. We chatted. We're going to watch a show. We are watching The Circle right now. Um, but first, I'm going to bake this sourdough for the morning. And I'm going to score it with this razor. Uh, so maybe that's interesting to watch. Because why not? There's no technical way. If somebody's like, you must score sourdough in this way, ignore those people. Those are people who are not your friends. Don't be friends with those people, okay? We're just having fun here. We're just making some bread. We're just gonna eat it anyway. So who cares? This weirdness is what resulted today. Let me show you. We shall see what this turns into tonight. Who knows? It's a mystery. scissors. I like to just kind of walk that off. I cook my sourdough at 450. I check it after 25 minutes to make sure the crust is forming well and not too brown or not not too brown because if it's not brown enough I'll take that lid off but usually I've never had to take the lid off before but I still check it just in case so sourdough baking for tomorrow morning because nothing is like fresh bread with jam in the morning on a Sunday beautiful if you guys want I will share the sourdough recipe that I use down below in the description box um sourdough takes a long time to make it well it's just don't let that intimidate you though it's not actually time consuming it's just cons you just need to be consistent the only part that is a little bit time consuming is the first day when you're kneading and like folding over your dough and you do it 10 minutes every 10 minutes for like an hour about because you do it every 10 minutes for until you fold it like five or six times and then you just let it rest on the counter and then once it's rested on the counter at room temperature for three to six hours then you 
put it in the fridge overnight and then you can leave it in there for like two days if you want and then you can bake it when you're ready so you just need to take it out of the fridge about an hour before you're gonna bake it uh, but you can do that while your oven is preheating while your crock is preheating and this is specifically sourdough that you bake in a Dutch oven so this is how I like to make it if you would like to also make it this way then I will share the recipe down below anyway um, if you guys also have any questions about things like this, any specifics on what you want to see me share, like be like, hey, how do you do this? Show me how to do this. Um, maybe I'll do a video on making starter or something because it's super easy. You just have to remember how to do it or remember to feed it. Um, and then once it's mature, you can just stick it in the fridge and feed it like once a week and it's fine. And you just set an alarm because who can remember things, right? Cody's in the bath and then him and I are gonna watch The Circle. We're gonna finish that because we are finally getting around to watching season two of the United States Circle, which we freaking love The Circle. It's hilarious. We have such a good time watching it. It's the show we watch together. It's fluffy, it's light, so we'll just like watch an episode a night uh, because I go to bed a lot earlier than Cody does. So we like hang out and watch something chill out together and then by the time I go to bed he still has hours until he goes to bed so that's when he does his hobby stuff and paints um and that's how we balance our evenings because I get up way earlier than he does he works much later than me I work start work at 7 30 in the morning <laughs> he doesn't work till like nine usually so there's a bit of a difference in our schedule so you guys didn't really need that rundown but I gave it to you anyway uh anyway it's been a rainy lovely day and we're just kind of chilling today and I think I don't have a whole lot to tell you guys so I'm gonna show you the bread once it's done in about half an hour and then I think I'm pretty much just gonna like go play sims and hang out with Cody and call it a night because I'm probably gonna stay up late just being a vegetable honestly because I don't get very many opportunities to be a vegetable. So I really take advantage of it when I do get to be said vegetable. This vlog was a little weird and random and all over the place. I apologize. I'm just trying to get back into the momentum. I want to try and post like every other day, maybe. And just keep consistent uploading starting. So that I am super in the habit of sharing with you guys when I get pregnant. So that I don't fall off the face of the earth and miss documenting everything. Right? So, I appreciate all of you who watch these, like, random in-between daily vlogs that aren't super interesting. Sometimes, I don't know, maybe they're interesting to you. I'm not sure. Uh, but on rainy days, there's just not a whole lot to do. And we just needed a day in as a family. We might take the whole weekend and just stay at home, <laughs> which would be really, really nice. Um, I think that might be the plan. We'll probably go out a little bit. I need some more plants. So, I'm sure we'll go out for a second but besides that anyway i'm gonna stop talking at you and i'll show you guys bread in a second hopefully it turns out <laughs> i don't know what that pattern is gonna do i guess we will see i lied i'm back for a second because i just wanted to document this process and i forgot to mention not that i have to but i just want to look back on this and see where my head was at and see what this process was like and i don't just want to share all the fluffy stuff i want to share like everything in between so today um, was good. You saw yesterday that I had contacted my midwife and that's really exciting. Today we were just hammering out some more details. Also, if any of you live in Tulsa, is that how you say it? Tulsa? I think it's Tulsa, Oklahoma, um, and have any tips or any recommendations for places to eat or anything that you would like to share specifically about that area let us know I would be interested to hear that um, but we were just like hammering out details and like this for some reason it was giving me anxiety today so I like stopped and let Cody handle it because I just get really overwhelmed and like thinking too much about small details like I'm like oh what if this happens and like this doesn't go like I'm just trying to make sure everything goes so smoothly and sometimes a lot of the times I overthink a ton of stuff and so it gets stressful. It's just a time crunch because it's such a small short trip. I don't want anything to like not happen like oh what if the rental car doesn't like isn't ready on time or the flight gets delayed and that throws off the timing of this and like I'm like Wah! <laughs> so of course like chill out don't worry about it. I've got it covered. 
so I appreciate him a lot, but I just wanted to mention that I had anxiety today about that, and it made me feel a little weird, and it's okay. Freaking alarms on my phone just interrupting me all the time. But now I know that when I feel that way, I need to stop doing what I was doing to give me the anxiety, move on, relax, maybe talk about it, so I talked to Cody about it. I don't know, just get out of that headspace. So I did that, and I'm fine now. I don't know what it is, I just like, it's so close, and it's so within reach. It, like I said earlier, like doesn't, I think I said this earlier today, in this vlog, um, it's hard to believe it's happening. So hammering out these final details of like, really like, hotels and blah 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 blah, it's just like, whoa, like it's actually happening. And I'm so excited for it, obviously, but it's just part of me is like anxious, I guess, because I'm like, what if something goes wrong? Like, I just don't want to be crushed or something. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's weird. It's not something I actually have to worry about. Everything's going to go fine. Like, restrictions are lifting here. We figured out, we have a plan in place in case, just in case we had to do like maximum quarantines when we get home and everything like that. But like, it's just stressful sometimes and I'll just be really glad when it's done and everything is just in place and then we can just see what happens and then I can just relax and let whatever happens happen but this part is a little bit stressful sometimes and I was feeling it a little bit today looking up flights and everything so I wanted to share that piece. Today's loaf didn't brown is hard as it sometimes does, but I'm not cooking any longer because it's done. Here it is. I don't know what kind of design that is. I'm leaving it in the pot tonight because we're not eating it until tomorrow, so look at that beauty. Can you see? I don't want to touch this and get burned. It's a pretty okay split. All right, you guys, I'm gonna leave because I know I talked at you guys a lot today. So um, I'm just gonna finish the bread stuff and then I'm gonna go upstairs and watch a show with Cody. And we're just gonna call it a night. So we will see you tomorrow. I'm gonna start filming tomorrow and maybe film like one or two days depending. That way, if I don't get as much filmed in one day and I need the second day, then I have it, especially since I'm working for another couple weeks still before I'm off. So yeah, anyway. Thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Bye!